Hi everyone, and welcome to my sixth of 13 videos on the Nikon D40. This video is going to focus on the sensor. This has a 6.1 megapixel CCD sensor with ISO sensitivity from 200 to 1600, extensible to 3200 and high. For practical applications, avoid going higher than 400 because you'll lose a lot of softness, uh, a lot of image quality, you'll get a lot of noise and have a lot of softness that you don't want. Ideally, the, the best sensitivity to shoot this sensor at is 200 because it's the native native uh, sensor, the native sensor sensitivity, and you will obtain optimal image quality results uh, if you don't change the sensitivity. So let's talk a little bit about what ISO is and how it works different uh, differently on a digital camera than in a film camera. ISO is an acronym for International Standards Organization, and what they did was they created the logarithmic graphs that engineers use to determine uh, how light reacts to a film and up, give a number to that, which we use as ISO. So originally it was a film speed, but the sensitivity on sensors, on digital sensors, are set to mirror those film speeds. Uh, and, and then, so the mathematical equations used to determine the film speed ISO sensitivity applies for the way that the sensor sees light. So the reason not to go beyond 400 and if possible not to go beyond 200 is because the sensor will always shoot at the native ISO at 200. Now what will happen is that if you take an image at 400, 800, 1600, or 3200, the sensor is not getting enough light and so the image is very underexposed and what happens is that, is that the, cal uh, the camera, the computer in the camera then runs a bunch of algorithms to build the image compensating for exposure with limited uh, image data because the, the image is underexposed there's less data. This results in increased image noise reduced dynamic range, reduced sharpness, reduced contrast, and poorer image quality in general. So as a tip, don't shoot outside of ISO 200.